If you compare the human body to that of a chimpanzee, you can see a striking resemblance in structure. The same applies to many other species, and this is more than just a coincidence. Studying the morphology of species or their body structures gives an insight into the relationships between species. The field of comparing the structure of organisms is referred to as comparative anatomy. First is homologous features. Features of organisms that have a fundamental similarity based on common ancestry are called homologous features. Often homologous features evolve different functions, but their similar structures provide evidence that the organisms shared a common ancestor from which they diverged over time. This is known as divergent evolution. Based on comparisons of anatomy, the dugong has the characteristics of a mammal. This is evidence of its evolutionary relationships. It is the only surviving species in its family and genus, with its close relatives being sea cows and manatees, which are classified in a separate family. The unique characteristics of these marine mammals evolved as they adapted to aquatic life. Mutations in DNA sequences regulating the length of bones in a limb can result in the limb that being used in different ways. Close examination of tetrapod forelimbs can show that the same series of bones are present in each, but the genetic sequence has been modified, resulting in different structures with different functions. The forelimbs of all mammals, including humans, cats, whales and bats, show the same arrangement with different lengths of bones from the shoulder to the tips of the digits, even though these appendages have very different functions such as lifting, walking, swimming and flying. Even though they've become adapted for different functions, they have the same basic skeletal elements. One large humerus bone, attached to the radius and ulna, then to the carpals, metacarpals, and finally the phalanges. Insect examples include the grasshopper, honeybee, butterfly, and mosquito, proven by their mouthparts and antennae being very similar, although they are used for different purposes. The grasshopper primarily bites and chews, while the honeybee bites, and the butterfly sucks pollen. Another type of comparative anatomy is vestigial features. Some organisms possess structures that seem to have little or no function. These structures are often remnants of organs that had a function in an ancestral species but have become re reduced in size over time and have ceased to be used. Such structures are referred to as vestigial structures and they provide further evidence of divergent evolution from a common ancestor. An example of this are pelvic bones in whales and pythons, the coccyx, ear muscles, wisdom teeth and inner eyelids on humans, and reduced eyes of birds, blind cavefish and salamanders. Structures such as the wings of flightless birds can be considered vestigial for flight, but in many cases, such as that of the ostrich, the reduced wings provide a new function of temperature regulation. The skeleton of a baleen whale, a representative of the group of mammals that includes the largest living species, contains pelvic bones. These bones resemble those of other mammals, but are underdeveloped in the whale and have no apparent function. These similarities are proof of divergent evolution. All these animals originated from one common ancestor and retained this pentadactyl limb structure in their arms despite being extremely diverse in other areas like the type of animal, their appearance and their environment.